weird and wonderful interwebs, it is I, David, least fit of all the Hewlett's, possibly of all the nerds as well, here with another Burn and Learn. And it's kind of a little out of order today because I, um, I did my exercise. I did, the, I did my time on the torture device th this, this morning. Um, but then I had to race upstairs, um, quickly shower and change and throw some food down my gullet and then do my second PC Bandit session of the week. So this is the Zoom meetings that I'm doing with a bunch of kids who aren't quite as taken with the whole true science side of the science, technology, engineering, arts, and math steam thing. They are definitely, um, they are definitely hardcore gamers. Like that's, that is what they love. I would include my son in this as well. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a club for kids who maybe, you know, maybe that wasn't, you know, maybe the science technology stuff isn't what they want. They want to, they want to be more about the gaming stuff. So we talk about streaming, we talk about YouTube, we talk about uh, all the different games, we talk about all the hardware, all the software, everything really, anything that relates to, to gaming um, and sort of gaming culture type stuff. So it's kind of cool because it's, you know, we've already had discussions. I mean, we've already had discussions with, with, you know, with kids in grade, like what, six and five about, about anxiety and depression and, 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 um, and anger issues and all sorts of stuff. And it's just, I, which has all just come out of, come out of nowhere. It's been like, it's kind of been glorious. Um, so, so they're, they've become this little, little clique of, of gaming fans who are sort of helping each other out on so many different in so many different ways. There's like tech support for the computers, but there's also like tech support for, for, for their headspace as well. Like some of the older kids are helping out the younger kids, um, both with their recommendations for technology and also for their recommendations in like sort of how to get by as a kid. And it's just, as I say, it's not me at all. I just, it's just, these kids just have this great way of, of, um, of communicating and their bond is through gaming. So um, it's just been, it's been really great, I gotta say. I had like one of the best sessions ever on Tuesday and then Wednesday, Wednesday was a little bit more of a disaster, but still, even when they're a disaster, you learn. So I, uh, yeah, I've just, uh, I'm really, really impressed with these kids, um, especially since, as I say, they were the ones who, who were really struggling to take an interest or I was struggling to get their interest with the science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, sort of more traditional STEM, STEAM kind of stuff. So, so just, I'm, I don't know, I'm feeling very happy about that. Um, you know, I don't know how exactly it'll work out, but I, I'm trying to put together almost like a, like a private, I'm calling it exclusive or elite group um, uh, channel where the, where the kids can post stuff to a, to a, you know, a sanctioned audience. And then I thought maybe once a month or once every two weeks, maybe depending on, on, on how things work, I could get one of the kids to cut together like a highlights reel and I'll put that on my YouTube channel. That's sort of like, that, you know, so it's okay to get that stuff out there type thing. But um, really, really impressed with them. Uh, one of the kids today came in completely unsolicited with a, with a whole breakdown of, of how to succeed as a YouTuber. Like just lots of little notes that he'd got from the, from the internet and, you know, some cut and pasted. Some of them he'd just come up with himself and some he wanted clarified. He wasn't sure what search engine optimization was. He wasn't sure what clique meant. Um, it was really, um, yeah, it was fantastic. You know, it's funny. I said this wasn't a great one. Actually, just for that reason alone, it was a great one. So... Yeah, just um, as I say, I'm really sort of enjoying it. It's becoming a kind of a, almost like a bit of a big brothers thing. And I mean, like, it's like there's the older kids are looking after the younger ones. And there's definitely friction, as there always is. And I know, I know it's very tough for, for some of the older kids to, to, to sort of put up with the stuff that they used to do when they were kids. Uh, anyways, it's, it's, it's interesting. Luckily, I'm just one of the kids, so, so it works out well. Um, this, I should say, is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. It's boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it. Then I like to share what I learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, self-indulgent way possible, which I'm failing miserably today. I've got the self-indulgent down, but the sweaty and miserable... Uh, you know, the torture device was a while ago. I've already had a shower, as I say. So, um, uh, and as I came by it, I thought, oh my God, I haven't, I haven't posted. I better post. Um, so the learn part of my burn learn, I'm, I'm back into the Python stuff now. This time I, um, uh, the, it's a slightly more advanced uh, Python, but it's Python for uh, data, uh, basically for dealing with data. Um, so it's data analytics using the Python tools. Um, and then the next stage will actually be like big data. 
um, and statistical, more statistical stuff. But uh, I'm really, yeah, this is just, I'm loving it. I was very skeptical about Python to start, and, and I've definitely come around to it. Um, it just seems like a, a, a language that's used for so many different things, and, and definitely for things that I love, like, you know, scraping the web for information and, and um, you know, and just being able to sort of find patterns in giant batches of, of information. It's just, that just seems really cool to me. So I'm looking forward to more of that. Um, I've got a lot of stuff I gotta, I've got to brush up on, actually. I've got to do a bunch of After Effects. I really want to get some more Red Giant stuff going. Um, the kids are talking about creating these YouTube um, videos and stuff, and I really think this is an opportunity to get them into some visual effects and stuff. One of the kids is already interested about uh, doing um, editing. Um, and, uh, you know, I we've been talking about Adobe's uh, Premiere Pro because that's sort of like a, a standard for, for people now, but it's expensive. So we started looking for an open source one. And so I'm, um, I, you know, if anyone's got any suggestions on that, let me know. I found one, which I'll see if it's any good. I can't remember what the name of it now is. It's like, it's something cut or, or shortcut or something like, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a, it is a, a completely open source. It's not like, you know, it's not, you know, like a test one or it's not a, not a, not a sample that you have to pay for later. You know, one of the issues that the kids get into is they start using these uh, other apps and they have like watermarks and stuff and they, they're worried about that. So and I'm worried about that too. I just don't think, you know, I think I want to get them up and running with something and I, ideally if it's open source, like, that'd be amazing. So uh, any suggestions on that would be fantastic. Um, and uh, what other things, exciting things do I have for you? Um, yeah, just trying to figure out this network thing will be really interesting. Like to, I want to sort of, you know, create a little gaming network for these, for these kids to, to, to play in, in an environment that is sort of sanctioned by parents that is that is a friendly place to be uh you know so far we've been really lucky with the interaction between the kids they've got along really well they're helping each other out um uh, but i would love to set up some kind of a structure where they could be posting stuff and uh, and and their parents can sort of feel a little more comfortable about the fact that they are in fact online but not fully fully like you know fully exposed to the entire internet as, as it can be a pretty Weird, wonderful place, as I could tell by just playing for um, playing um, what's it called, Roblox, for a little bit today. Um, you know, it's uh, you know the guy was explaining how yeah, no, if you stand still for too long, someone will someone will kill you because it's just it's fun to do is kill the noobs. Um, so uh, yeah, it was interesting, interesting, very very interesting um, uh, session today. So um, I have babbled on plenty. I think I'm just putting off the fact that I've got to go upstairs and figure out this stupid medical receipt thing now. So anyways, until we geek again, sweaty or not, thank you all and cheerio.